So in this session, we will see this lead code problem that is the find minimum in the rotated sorted array. Let's just first read the problem statement. So suppose an array of n sorted in the ascending order is rotated between 1 till n times. Right. For example, for example, this is the array 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 become like this. If it is rotated 4 times, if it is rotated 7 times. Now what does that mean? Let's just take it. Now here is the thing that let's say this is your original list. This is your original list and it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the sorted list, sorted array, right? Now, the uh, the number of rotation, if I rotate it one time, what that means that if I take this last index element to the first, like this, if, the, if I contain this last element to the first, then it is the one rotation. If I take this another last to the first, then it is known as the second rotation. Like if I say that if I take two elements from the last and move it to the first, then it is the second two rotations. If I take three elements from the last and move them to the first, then it is the third rotation. Or you can say there are three rotations. So this is how the rotation works. Now what does that mean? We have this list that has been given to us. So if you can see that this is the example list that you have given to you. And what we have to do, we have to just return the minimum element of this array. So we have to return the minimum array of this rotated array, right? And there is another instruction that you must write an algorithm that runs in O log n times. So we have to just write the algorithm that is supports the time complexity of the log n. So we know there is a one algorithm that does support the O log n time that is the binary search algorithm, right? So the binary search algorithm is that uh, supports the log n time complexity. So let's say we have this array, this is the rotated array and it is rotated three times. Likewise, I told you that we have moved these three, last three elements to the first. So you can see that the last three elements move to the first, so it is rotated three times. Now what? Now what we have to do, we have to just get the minimum value from this array. So we will apply the binary search algorithm, but it will not apply as it is. It will apply in a slightly changed way. So what do we do in the binary search algorithm? We first just place the our left pointer and the right pointer. So we just place the left pointer and the right pointer to left pointer to the zeroth index and we just place the right pointer to the n minus one index or you can say the last index. So we just place these two pointers out here and we, we then calculate the mid. How do we calculate the mid? So the mid value is basically the left plus right that is, if you just calculate the left plus right, that is the whole divided by 2. So this is the floor function that we use in order to calculate the mid. So the left pointer is pointing towards the 0th index and the right pointer is pointing towards the 4th index. Now what do we have to do? We have to apply the binary search algorithm. If we have this mid, if we calculate the mid, then uh, 0 plus 4 is equals to 4 and if we divide by 2, then it will get the 2. So the mid value, so the mid pointer will be pointing towards this second index, which contains five. So mid pointer will be here. So the mid pointer will be here. And now what do you have to do? We have to just check. What do we have to check? We have to check that whether this mid value is less than or greater than. We first we have to check like this. So we can see here that from the left till mid, we have this array which is sorted, and we can see that these have some of the elements which are greater, which are greater than these two, like these two. So these two are smaller than the these three elements. To in a binary search algorithm, what it does, it just splits the half list and just try to find the element in the other half list. So how do we get uh, get to know that in which side of the list we have a smaller element? Like we have this mid pointer here and it contains the five. Now what do we have to do? We have to check. So if this mid value, mid, mid value is greater than the right value, then we can clearly see that it means that right here we have the minimum value could be possibly here. The minimum value could be possibly here. And if the mid value is greater than the right value, then the, the value, the minimum value that we want is minimally po possibly could be present here. So what do we have to do? Let's just make something that if if the mid value, you can see if the nums mid is just greater than the nums right. 
if that's so so we what do we have to do we just increment we just move this left pointer towards the one increment of the uh, index of the mid so we have to do this left is equals to mid plus one so what i will gonna do here so i just analyze li like this this is greater than the right so what do we have to do i just move this left pointer towards here and again so left pointer is towards here the right pointer is, is towards here now if i just check this mid again to so the mid pointing towards the third index so here you can see the left is pointing towards the third index the right is pointing towards the third index and again if we check like this now you can see that the right uh, that the mid this is the mid and the mid value you can see if you check that this is not greater than the right it is the less than right so what will we gonna do so if the mid value nums mid is less than the right value if that's so then what do we have to do we have to just move now here here what we will gonna do we will just move the right pointer at the mid we just place the right pointer towards the mid so the right pointer will be moving towards the mid and now you can see and the left and right and mid are here right so here here what do we have to do now you can see that if we just apply this this uh, if you just calculate the mid then again the 3 plus 3 that is 6 and if you just move it here again the mid will be here you can see at that at this point these both conditions are becoming false so also uh, while we are applying the binary search algorithm we just apply this that while the left is less than right now in that condition you can see that this while condition is also becomes false this while condition also becomes false and these two are also false then in the end what we're gonna do we're just gonna return this value we have to just return this value Right, so this is the approach that we will gonna use here. So let's just move on to the code. First, what I have to do, I have to just place this left and right pointer towards the left pointer will be at the zeroth index and the right pointer will be at the last index, nums minus one. Now the, the next thing is that we have to use while left, sorry, left is less than right. And uh, then again, we have to just apply this first. You can see the first condition that if the nums mid is greater than nums right then in that case we just know that this will be if this is greater than the right then surely we will have the minimum element uh, after this mid value so we will just move this left it equals to mid plus one or else if the mid value is less than the nums right then what do we have to do we just place the right pointer towards the mid and if that so this conditions becomes here if this conditions becomes here the left right and mid are at the same pointer then this while loop will be false and then in the end we will just return nums right because we are moving the right pointer so this is how this will uh, gonna work here i just uh, forgot to apply this mid we have to just calculate the mid here and the mid will be like left plus right and which is the floor function of two now this is how we get the mid and we have this mid plus one and right so let's just run this and you can see that we have all of the test cases are passed so you can run dry run it by yourself taking out these two list and this is the thing so if you have any kind of queries or any kind of confusions in this, so you can definitely ask this in the comment section. So thank you so much.